Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. And you ain't, right? <laughs> well, we're going to, you know, my take on the Billy Joe Saunders versus Canelo fight. You know, I told y'all I wasn't watching it live, right? Just for the simple fact of, hey, people, I pay attention to what's going on and I get irked by stuff that shouldn't be happening, right? Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders shouldn't have really been the fight. Billy Joe Saunders didn't deserve the damn fight. Um, but we'll get to some of the reasons why. And um, <clears throat> I just don't like the politics that are surrounding Canelo, right? I just don't like it. I've seen enough. And, uh, you know, I can't support these fights until I see he fights who the hell I think he's supposed to fight and who the, who the hell I think that the whole boxing community should be saying that he's fighting. So I don't complain about those things and then go watch the damn fights anyway. <laughs> I mean what I'm saying. That irks me, so I can't watch it live. It's just like a little boycott for me. So my opinion comes late, okay? So I watched the fight, and let me tell you something. Canelo looked great. Canelo looked great, man. 168 pounds, a good weight. Canelo throws punches with bad intentions, um, and he was the whole time, you know. And another thing, Canelo has a super chin, right? It's not like he had he proved it against Billy Joe Saunders, but Billy Joe Saunders hit him with a few flush shots. He shakes those things off. We've seen them with Gennady Golovkin. He very rarely takes a flush shot because Canelo has upper body movement, and he's not as easy to hit as some of these people think because he's, he plods in lately. Right against these fighters, against a Billy Joe Saunders and a, a Kyler Plant, he's gonna plod, come plodding forward because he's not. Uh, he knows he has a chin and he knows he doesn't take any flush shots. But his body shots, uh, you know, and uh, counter body shots, the left hook to the body, you know, those things hurt. Those things hurt. And um, he was throwing the right hand with bad intentions, and he just looked great. We know that he stopped Billy Joe Saunders uh, with, uh, you know, you know, he hurt that eye. The eye socket injury, another one which we've been hearing a lot. There's been a lot of eye socket injuries of late. You know, we know that Kell Brook had two of them uh, against Golovkin and Kell Brook. We know Danny Dubois had an eye socket injury. We know uh, Inui had an eye socket injury against um, uh, Donaire, right? So the, it's, it's starting to become a lot of those right now. And, um, you know, what happened was, you know, when my man was leaning, leaning, uh, starting to scoot down, even Lennox Lewis said the same thing. He wasn't backing up straight. He started, you know, getting down, you know, bending those knees, right? Like a Pern Pernell Whitaker. You know, it's great defense from Billy Joe Saunders, but we'll get to him. But, you know, you keep doing that. Canelo is also one of those fighters who's going to, uh, you know, get that data. And what he's going to do, he's going to adjust. So he's throw that, uh, that right uppercut really hard. You can almost see that it happened after that punch. And then, boom, Billy Joe Saunders' eye socket messed up. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to Billy Joe Saunders, he looked great too, in my opinion. He, I knew he was going to be ready for this fight. Anyway, you know, he's, he brought the Billy Joe Saunders, that, the David Lemieux fight. He started slowing down towards the end of the fight, but he was still looking good. He got hit with a couple of good shots, and he put on his game face as well. Uh, I had Billy Joe Saunders leading uh, at, that, at the time of the stoppage. I, Billy Joe Saunders had to be up a round or two. I, you know, <clears throat> I didn't write, write it down, but <clears throat> the bottom line is this, like I say, of all fights. You know, with the, with the fighters that stay at home, like Anthony Joshua, who's always fighting at home, um, you know the crowds. He so he, the crowds going for him. Manny Pacquiao, who no matter where he fights, the crowds going for him. Canelo Alvarez, the crowds going for him. So Canelo Alvarez gets hit with two or three jabs, or you know, uh, you know, or even a left hand, and the crowd says nothing. Then he comes back with a body shot, and the crowd says everything. If, Can if Canelo hits Billy Joe Saunders, they freaking out, right? Kind of remind me of, you know, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. they freaking out no matter what Tyson Fury is doing. So those things that, you know, the, the judges have to look through, but they don't, right? Billy Joe Saunders looked great until the stoppage, in my opinion. He looked great. You know, you're not going to look that much better against Canelo. Um, it is what it is. So I had him leading a little bit, but it comes to find out, and this is the, the reason why I just can't watch this kind of stuff to me. The judges, again... All of them had Canelo leading. Now, I don't know about how, how far. I want to see that, too. They probably know that it looks so ridiculous that we probably never find that out. Right? It's just, what the hell are the judges constantly doing with him when it comes to Canelo? Are they being threatened? Are they being paid? How the hell is so many people watch a fight, right? And you guys are supposed to be totally knowledgeable. And you're going to have Canelo, uh, all three of you, Canelo leading. Right? When Canelo fought Amir Khan. 
He was leading and when he knocked Khan out, and he wasn't, right? Canelo got a draw against Floyd Mayweather, right? We all know he lost every got every round against you know Floyd Mayweather. How did somebody do? What is leading these people to do that? And they need to investigate it. It's what the hell, man? It's, it's a dude. It's another dude. He's going to take a poop after there, just like everybody else, and it's going to stink there. There's nobody above anybody just because of a little bit extra money and stuff. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And those are, that's why it's really hard to watch these things. You know, it's just like, man, that's patronized. I'm not going to keep watching that and to keep seeing, you know, Canelo. Yeah, he hurt the eye socket of the Billy Joe Saunders, and now he's the best, you know, and it's, he proved again that he's the best. And we know how, why he's fighting Billy Joe Saunders instead of other people. Who are we going to get to in a minute? Now, when it comes to Billy Joe Saunders' eye socket getting broke, and people should fight again, and he's a quitter and all that. I won't engage in that. I don't think fighters are a quitter. When your eye goes into the back of your damn head, the next punch might put your skull back there. Why? Right? Anybody want to ask any of these people's uh, family members? Do they think, hey, I'm going to go out on my shield? I roll with Deontay Wilder. But I, that's who I roll with. But I still disagree with him when, when that fight gets stopped. You know, if I was working with Deontay Wilder, I'd never seen him uh, exhausted like that. And never seen him just taking punches and just, just totally exhausted like that, unless it's Louis the Real King or Kong Ortiz. But we know that he was uh, hurt. That's different. And I'm just exhausted in round one, and something's wrong, right? And I'm just taking punches and punishment from a 50 pound heavier guy. I think I would have stopped that too and just said, hey, well, Deontay, we're talking 20 years when you understand why that your life is more important than our friendship right now. You have to understand your life. I'm not sitting here going to watch you because of any damn codex or something. I'm not doing that. Right? I wouldn't have either. I've just been like, damn, too bad, man. We ain't going to be partners for a while because I understand what you, you know, what your point of view too. But I couldn't sit there, physically couldn't sit there and know that something's wrong with you and know that you're not fighting back and just do that. You know, so I understand the other side of that. And the same thing, all this, you know, hey, I'm going to go out on my shield, my eyes in the back. I look like some kind of other creature and I'm supposed to keep fighting with my skull. I feel my skull being, uh, these guys are still fighters. I, you know, I can't call them quitters. I ain't going to call Danny du Dubois that. But here's the thing. Billy Joe Saunders was talking smack to Danny Dubois. And then you all of a sudden, that's why I keep saying back then, when a boxer feels, wait a minute, man. Ooh, wait, hold up now. My skull is moving. Hold up. We'll, I, you know, we'll get back to this in about six to eight months. I don't have no problem with that. You know, those certain things that, you know, it's like on your shield, this and that. And like I said, ask a family member. Is somebody's wife saying that? Unless they can't stand them. Oh, somebody going to kill them instead of, instead of me. That's cool. But if you do good, if you're in good relationships, your kids, your, you know, people that are, you know, close to you, they don't want people to be talking about going out on your shield because it's me. Oh, they'll kill me in the ring because of some people out here that might say that I'm a quitter that are never on my side anyway. Why would I want to do that? So that he, he stopped at that point. Uh, I have no problem with that. But I have no problem with anybody doing that. You see what I'm saying? Or, or taking the knee. You know, to get my eight seconds together so I can get back and fight. That's a part of it. Oh, that's a good punch. Let me go and take a knee instead of stumbling around here and then get back up and handle my business. Those, those are part of fighting. So I, I don't agree with all that. But whatever. You know what I'm saying? Billy Joe is somebody who really talks a lot of smack. So you're going to get some smack back right now because a lot of people doesn't like Billy Joe Saunders. And I'm one of them. He's a dirt bag. But, you know, dirt bag, smirt bag, you know, fair is fair, period. Now, um, here's another thing. Demetrius Andrade. Y'all know I'm going to talk about him. He was at the fight. They ain't going to let him get in the ring, right? They ain't going to let him get in the ring. They showed him one time, you know, his shirt told you. Both of these uh, female dogs are scared of me. Good. But I hear about, hear about after the after the fight, the press conference, Canelo won him out of the place. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. A couple of times because he just said, what the hell is, you know what, you're a, a female dog and you won't fight me. I mean, how the hell, what the hell is going on? And Canelo can still say to this guy, you haven't fought anyone. Think about that. Everybody should have booed when Canelo said to Demetrius Andre, you haven't fought anyone. And this guy has been at these press conferences for six years. I'm the WBO champion at 154. You're the mandatory. You don't want to fight me. I get stripped. Then you fight Leon Smith. Did you feel that Leon Smith was better than me? No, you didn't. So you go to 160. Me and you can fight for undisputed you looking for Kovalev two divisions higher instead of looking for me for undisputed, right? No matter who I fought. Did you don't fight more people than me? Did Roy Fielding fight more people than me? James Kirkland fight more people than me? Who? Billy Joe Saunders fight no pe more people than me, right? Callum Smith, I'm going to give you him because that's a good one. But not him either. No one thought Callum Smith, especially on four weeks 
notice is, is better than Demetrius Andre. What the hell is going on here? None of the fights would have been more lucrative either. None of, uh, I'm fighting at the zone just like you, right? He shouldn't be allowed to say stuff like that to him. He should get booed immediately. But more people are seeing what's going on because I'm starting to see articles that are starting to at least write it. That's been a problem because you got to at least write it. And of course, you see the comments coming right after it, like, you know, somebody's hating on Canelo or whatever. There shouldn't be fighters undefe undefeated in the same weight divisions with titles, begging to call it calling him out and begging for fights that should not exist and then we call the one who won't fight these guys better that is a problem with boxing no matter what and now if you have some issues to why all of a sudden you don't care about Demetrius Andrade or think about it, Charlo we have a new belt in boxing called the franchise belt because Charlo was Canelo's mandatory think about that a new belt, and we talk never to call it fr franchise belt instead of the Charlo belt. Because like I said before, if Charlo wasn't dangerous, we would not have that, that belt. If Charlo was Yildirim, if Charlo was Zemaretta, if Charlo was Steve Rose, if Charlo was uh, James Kirkland, or, or whoever else, Rory Fielding, we would never have had that belt. Canelo would have just beat up his mandatory. But because it was Charlo, he asked the WBC, and who was always there, he's got a, a new Matitza belt for this fight, always there, just corrupt as hell, just giving Canelo exactly what he wants. And we're supposed to look at that as grown-ass man and act like we're not seeing that. That's not happening here. So at the end of the day, Canelo got a good win, though. You know, it's a good win for him, you know, because people are going to ignore the obvious. But he shouldn't have been ahead on the judges' cards. Um... And that's the problem, the issue here. Billy Joe Saunders is not a quitter, in my opinion, uh, because if he is, then a whole lot of other people quit before. They're not quitters. I think certain injuries, are, you know, certain things that happen, sometimes you might have to quit. Now, others wouldn't. I've seen other fighters not quit with one arm. I've seen Vitaly Klitschko, who is a tough guy, in my opinion. I've seen Vitaly Klitschko quit in the last round versus Chris Bird. A former middleweight going up to heavyweight with no punching power, did a lot of movement. Vitaly Klitschko is winning the fight by a landslide and quits because his shoulder goes out in the last round of the fight. Now, I would never understand that. Vitaly, you can't go out here and jab Chris Bird. Chris Bird ain't about to knock you out. Chris Bird for one round? And that's when you're too smart for your own good because... Uh, Vitaly Klitschko is a doctor. Probably knew exactly what happened to his shoulder. When you don't know exactly, you're going to keep fighting. But he knew exactly what happened to his shoulder. So he's probably like, man, I ain't, I ain't. that could be life-threatening in terms of my shoulder ain't gonna, never going to work if I go out here. But a normal person would have went and won that fight. You already win it. All you got to do is stay away from him and jab him and play like your shoulder not hurt. Now, we've seen other fighters like a Deontay Wilder, for example, against Chris Ariola, play with him with one arm. And not only was the bicep uh, torn, right? His hand was hurt too, fractured. His his hand on both, so he really couldn't use the right hand at all. So he put on a poker face and ended up stopping Chris Ariola. So it's like you know you just gotta weigh those things. So to me, Canelo um, was awesome, right? Like always, really. And you know I just think he needs to fight these guys, and no one is saying that these guys beat him for sure. Because Canelo is awesome, but I think he has to be forced to do these things. We shouldn't be talking about Caleb Plant and him uh, trying to be undisputed at 168. If he is, then we should make him uh, have to fight for the WBC belt instead of just being given the WBC belt given to him. That shouldn't happen. He should have to fight Benavides for it. And then, you know, after Caleb Plant, and then Caleb Plant is sitting here waiting for him for, till September to fight. I don't think that's the right way either. And I think if we're so... Uh, stuck on undisputed at 168, then we should be putting him in his face when you see Demetrius Andre. Hey, I'm the guy. You could have already been a super duper star in Mexico. You'd have been the first undisputed middleweight champion in Mexico, his, his Mexican history. And you didn't want to do that because I'm the guy that you would have to fight. But now you're gonna go up here, and everybody's supposed to look at here and look and think that it's so awesome to do it at 168. And you're fighting the guys that didn't fight me because they were doped. No, that's a problem. So anyway, those are my takes on the fight. Uh, still a good fight from Canelo and a pretty good fight from, from Billy Joe Saunders. He showed his talent. For those that didn't know that Billy Joe Saunders is talented, now you do. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide, and I'm about to hear you.